Revelio. Revelio. Protego. Lumos. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Lumos. Your spirit guides are trying to contact you. I can sense them all around. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio.
Avelio. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Repair it. Revelio. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Revelio. <laughs> Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin Silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. 
Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecket know to expect you. Revelia. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Two cookies simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight. Rebellion. Lumos. My, what a striking face. You'll make quite the portrait one day. I wouldn't want to be hung next to you. Lumos. Or a skeleton. I'm on the right track.
Velio. to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. I... Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant! Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it! Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Seems I'm out of the tournament, thanks to you. You could have gone a bit easier on me. 
Perhaps I should stick to potions. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Doubt Scribner would stand for that. But if I said it was for an essay for history of magic, how could she refuse it? She would say no. That's how she could do it. Only sounding much more terrifying. Like an angry youth. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady.
Good work. Try not to incinerate yourself. Lumos. Lumos. Off on another adventure, are we? be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Revelio.
used to night trying to fix me. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest! I am only joking. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. 
Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. What are you up to now? Lumos. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So... Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean... I'll actually be able to turn invisible. Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ganon's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. The key. Here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Surely no one's wandering about in here at this hour. You'd be wise to get out of here. It's not safe for young mortals. Ghost, don't let her see you. Ah, 
Should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. Pavelia. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. Concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Revelia! Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Revelia. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Revelio. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Lumos. 
Revelia. Luke. Where might this lead? Surprising. Guards at the ready. Rebellion. This must be the way forward, but to where? Revelio.
Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald. 
Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian! Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio.
Rebellion. Revelia. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. 
My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom.
Nice to see you, my young friend. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... <sighs> I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Off on another adventure, are we?
beasts were made. Beasts. That should have took less time, is all I was saying. Rebellion. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. 
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime.
Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Incendio! I thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Lumos. Seems a pleasant enough little place. But, Mummy... Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here. Revelia. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, Mummy.
Repair her. Repair her. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Repair her. thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hope to see you again sometime. Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Incendio! 